Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Kristen and today we're going to be doing a deep cleaning in my kids room. We're going to be decluttering, organizing, moving furniture and just giving it a really good deep clean. Before I get started with the deep cleaning, I just wanted to pick up my room a little bit. I'm not doing too much. I'm just going to make the bed, vacuum, and pick up a little bit of stuff that was laying around in the space. Moving on to my girls' room, I have two girls, one is nine and one is six, and they do share a room. They have bunk beds and it just tends to get messy like this. I can't stand it, but it happens. So we're gonna get in here, we're gonna declutter, organize and get everything washed. That was one of my main goals too when I came in here was to make sure all the sheets, blankets and toys got washed today. Okay guys, walking into a room like this can be very overwhelming and discouraging. So the first thing I like to do before I start is just look around and assess everything and decide what needs to be done versus what I want to get done. And what I wanted to get done today was to make sure everything was gonna get cleaned and sanitized. Uh, it was important to me that their sheets their blanket and comforters, pillowcases, and other stuffed animals got into the washer today and cleaned. Once I got their sheets and blankets into the washer and into the laundry room, it was time to declutter. And the way I did this was just grab a bunch of laundry baskets and kind of sort through things. I had, they had a ton of laundry on the floor. So I had a laundry basket, they had towels and blankets, and then I had a basket for that. And then I also had a basket for their stuffed animals because I wanted to get them into the wash as well today. So prior to me filming this video, I had not been feeling well. I had an ear infection. Um, I just was not feeling right. And I had got on antibiotics and got rid of the ear infection and I started to have more energy. I started to feel better. Um, so on this particular day, I was feeling so motivated and energized to get this room like deep cleaned, but something fell off. I didn't feel right. I knew I had energy to do it. I knew I had the motivation and desire to get this room done, um, but something just wasn't feeling right to me. And I was very right.
you guys have been asking me for an update. You want to know how everybody's doing, why I left, all that stuff. And I do want to share that with you guys. I do not want my channel to be a Debbie Downer channel. I want it to be uplifting. Um, but you guys are invested in me. You guys have been so loving, so patient, so kind to me. And I feel like I owe it to you to explain where I went, why I left. Um, If you guys are following me before, you know that Chris had a lot of health issues. Chris is my husband. Um, and, you know, long story short, Chris and I had just had our last child, uh, Mona. She's now six. And things were going really good. I was staying at home. He was providing for us. He was working. His job was going really well, making good money. And it just everything was ripped out from under us. He couldn't work anymore. We didn't have an income. We didn't have a home. Uh, we had to basically start over. Thank God for my mom. She took us in and we moved in with her for a few years. And it just, it was a very, 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 very difficult time. It was nonstop and things were just, just so tough, really tough. Um, and if you guys are watching my videos before, you, you could see. You can see that things are chaotic and I'm struggling to keep up. And <laughs> I just, it was hard. It was really hard. And there's just so much that happened and there's so much to life. Um, I'm thankful to be on the other side of it. Um, Chris lost his dad very unexpectedly and very traumatically um, not long after I left YouTube. And it, you know, it, it's just, it just one of those periods in life where everything kept piling on and it was so hard. Everybody I know has said that they don't know anyone that's been through half the stuff that we've been through in our lives. Um, and we have, we've just, we've been through a lot and it's been really hard, but it's made our relationship together stronger. It's made our family unit stronger and it's made our faith stronger. So... We're just on the other end of that. We're, you know, it kind of feels like we've been in a tornado and we're just like finding our way out, if that makes sense. We've spent the last year healing from just the emotional toll that it's taken on us. And that's kind of where I've been. I just couldn't come back until I knew I was ready because I'm, you get me whatever I am on that day, that's what you get. That's how I am. I can't fake it. I, it's just, it's all me or nothing. And I was not good. <laughs> it was not good at all. So, um, it was a necessary break, but I'm so glad to be back. I'm so thankful for you guys. You guys were so supportive. Um, when I couldn't message you, you guys were messaging me and, it meant the world to me and I read all your comments and I love you guys and I'm thankful for all of you. So I don't want to leave you guys hanging. I started my story earlier and I have to finish it so you guys know what happened. Um, but earlier I wasn't you know, I told you guys I wasn't feeling good. Something fell off. And as soon as I got done cleaning the girl's room, I went immediately to my room and just laid down. And my side like slowly started to hurt and then hurt and then like really hurt. And it came on quick. Um, like within minutes, I was out. And my side, oh my gosh, it was like, it was so, 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 so bad. I ended up having a kidney stone. I told Chris, I said, I, I was like, you need to take me to the hospital right now. <laughs> I was like, I got to go. It was so bad. I couldn't lift my leg. He had to put my shoes on. Like it just went from me cleaning, being fine to not even being able to move my leg. It was, it was insane. I couldn't because the pain was so bad in my side, but we went to the hospital. I ended up having a kidney stone. Um, and it was horrible, but I'm, I'm done. 
<laughs> it's done. I'm fine. I'm healthy. Um, it's just, it's crazy how fast a kidney stone can hit you. It's so crazy. It's insane. If you guys have had one, you know how horrible it is uh, and how intense it is. But I'm thankful that nothing else was wrong with me. I'm fine. It was just a kidney stone. Need to come out. Now we're good. Ready to go. <laughs> um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed my talking. I know I talked a lot in this one, but I'm very grateful for you guys. I appreciate all of you. Um, I'm so thankful for everyone. I really am. And a lot of you have asked how you can help out. I do have um, something if you guys want to check out in my comments, you can help me out there. If not, you don't have to. Um, it's just I've had a lot of people send me private messages, comments, stuff like that, um, asking how they could help me. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you next week with a new video. If you have any um, requests, anything you want to see, anything you want to know, just let me know in the comments. Um, I read all of your comments and I love looking at them. So I hope you guys have an amazing day. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.